In this video, we want to take a look at how we are writing our claims and how to revise them to make them better. Okay, some of the basic concepts we need to understand about writing claims. A claim can also be known as a topic sentence for a paragraph or a thesis for an essay or a longer paper. It's an important to establish a clear and valid claim because it lets the reader know the big idea that you're writing about and the rest of the evidence in your writing is supposed to support that idea. And finally, clear and valid claims help to keep you as a writer from wandering off topic. So what are some things that we can do? We need to use what you're given. So here's a sample writing prompt. What ideas should writers keep in mind to make sure they are writing thorough answers? How can I use that writing prompt to help me to write a claim? I can echo the question. Use the question to help me to write my claim. So, cross out words that I don't need. Well, it's, I don't want it to be a question anymore, so I'm going to cross out what. Also, I'm going to change the punctuation because I don't want it to be a question anymore, so I will get rid of my question mark and change it to a period. And rearrange words if I need to. Ideas writers should keep in mind instead of ideas should writers keep in mind. Makes more sense. So now let me take a look and see if I have a good claim. Does this make sense? That's always my check question. Does this make sense? Ideas writers should keep in mind to make sure they are writing thorough answers. Is that a good claim? No, because it's a sentence fragment. If that were the title of a list, I could get away with it, but that's not a complete sentence. So I need to edit and revise this some. How can I fix this? Use there are as a sentence starter. When in doubt, it's a good thing to use to have that in your toolbox there to say there are or there is. It is not great writing. But if you are in a timed writing situation, it's a way to make sure that you have a claim and get on with it and get into the evidence. You can always go back and revise afterwards. So that would become there are ideas writers should keep in mind to make sure they are writing thorough answers. How else can I fix this? If I can rearrange and revise to make the sentence stronger. Writers are the people that are doing the action, so I want to make them the subject. Writers should keep certain ideas in mind to make sure they are writing thorough answers. The more claims you write, the better you will get at making these kinds of revisions to have a nice, strong claim. Okay, let's take a look at another common mistake. Here's our writing prompt again. Writers should keep in mind to state a claim and to make sure they answer the question asked. Is that a good claim? Okay, the problem is no, it's not a good claim because it's too much too soon. You're giving away the evidence in your claim. To state a claim and to make sure they answer the question asked are the details of the things that our writers should keep in mind. I want to keep my evidence separate. So I want to talk about that later. Let's take a look at this claim. Writers should keep certain ideas in mind to make sure they are writing thorough answers, such as make sure you answer the question asked and give enough detail so readers without background knowledge can understand. We've got the same problem. We're giving away the evidence in the claim. That's my evidence. I want to talk about that later. So how do I fix it? Put a period where the claim ends. Writers should keep certain ideas in mind to make sure they are writing thorough answers. Period. That's it. That's your claim. Separate each piece of evidence into its own sentence. 
Okay, here's one detail. Make sure you answer the question asked. Here's another detail. Give enough detail so readers without background knowledge can understand. Then I'm going to introduce each detail with a sentence starter. So now I have a claim here, separate claim, and two detail sentences. A big thing to keep in mind is know the type of question being answered. Short answers versus short responses. When you see questions that look like this, and there's a little bit of space in between, there's not a lot of space to write an answer. That's probably a short answer question that you can get away with writing a sentence that goes directly into your evidence. When you see something that looks like this, all of these lines there are suggesting to you that you're writing a longer or more thorough response so that you would need a claim and details. The number of lines suggest that a longer, more thorough response is needed. If you're not sure what type of question, the best thing that you can do is to go and ask your teacher or ask for some clarification. But I would suggest read the directions first for any clues. A lot of times the written directions will answer those questions for you. The more you write claims, the better you will get at writing them. So practice, practice, practice.